presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and prowling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. The TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. I hope you get some great weather wherever we are out here today because I'm telling you, man, right where we are, it's amazing out here. We got a cold front that came in. And cold front for us just sucked the humidity out of the air, folks. It's like 78 degrees out. It's amazing. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 38. NASDAQ is down 78. S&P is up 5. Gold contract down $10.10 .10 at 1952 an ounce. You get silver off 34 cents, $25.58 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Where are you, baby? Uh, there you are. There you are. A, a buck uh, trading 113.42. Notes and bonds. They are getting absolutely smoked. You get the 10 year right now trading down a full point plus 12 ticks at 121.17. The 30 year off two points plus 11 ticks at 147 flat and king dollar. King dollar right now, trading up 19 ticks, 98808. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you get a market. My take, you get a market that wants higher price, number one. We're not going to have an ABC because what you have out here, the B point out here is uh, 450.58. You need 74 million shares. Hey, I, well, we might, I don't think we're going to do it. We're at 52 million. If you get 74 million, guess what? The bottom line is that that's saying we're going to all-time highs. This market wants higher price. That's the bottom line, folks. We get into the uh, end of the X100. We take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Three Qs are going sideways. The three Qs are going to have a chance, even on Monday or Tuesday, to basically get that volume in. They need, the volume for an ABC up on the three Qs uh, is uh, 63 million. We're at 45 right now. Uh, yesterday we did 53, so we are going to have more volume there. So we'll see where that baby uh, takes us. Gold. Gold contract here continues to basically build cars for higher price. You're, you're backing down today. Let me see this. Okay, so we're backing down with uh, backing down with 10, 10 bucks. You get 59,000 contracts traded. That's light contract volume on the way down. Bottom line, you, you, this thing wants to make a run. And... That's on the short term. On a longer term basis, folks, you get an ABC structure up that we're talking about a 2,500 to 2,600 gold price. King dollar. Let's go take a look at King dollar out here. We take a look at King dollar. King dollar got up to a high today of 98,834. So we didn't have much movement inside of King dollar out here today. Um, you know, bottom line, it rejected lower price at 98,400. So, you know, this is like a toss up, man, but it looks to me like. Once again, yeah, okay, uh, look, just look at this. This is really cool, okay? You talk about, you know, uh, a nice triangle, man. I mean, this is pretty intense how this shakes out. Now, normally what happens with something like this, too, by the way, is that whatever way we break out of this, you want to be really careful because the way these, you, you can see we're coming to the very end of it. Most of the time, you normally get a false break and the thing goes the other way. So it's going to be intriguing watching this shake out as to where it's going to go. Let's go take a look at Rig Transocean. 
And, you know, by the way, folks, okay, so pitch it. You have the S&P as well as the NDX 100. They're trying to do ABC structures up. They don't have the volume. That being said, and I've seen this replay before, okay, these oil stocks want to run in an incredible way. If that's what happens, you will go, you're going to continue to see a higher market. It's just, it's just a change of acceleration, a change of strength inside sectors that bring it higher. We take a look at rig, uh, bottom line, what you have out here. The low for the year is 263, the high is 556. And we put this on a monthly. What you're going to see is that this is not only, you know, bottom line, it's finally sticking its head up. You can see the volume. The volume is huge, man. The volume on the monthly right now is uh, 742 million. So let's see, price-wise, you're over that. You're over the three. You're uh, okay. You're not. You're not. It's on. It's on the way to seven. Let me get this closer. Okay, so I'll put it in five years. Yeah, there we. Oh, it's an ABC up. Oh, this is even better. Okay, let's do this. Look at this, baby. Thanks, Fletch. This is a beauty, man. Okay, so. You get 513. Oh man, it's a. You get a four. What's that? 65. 513, 65, 450, 550. Seven bucks. It's, an, it's a confirmed ABC up. Yeah. You get a confirmed. Well, did we hit? 556. Yeah, it's a confirmed ABC up. You get big get action here, man. This thing wants higher price. That's how, that's how this thing is uh, laid out right now. We go take a look at Twitter, TWTR. I better be right on this one because the tag is telling me. His wife wants to buy it. <laughs> he's, he's worried. I don't blame, blame him to be worried. You ne what, what happens, folks, is that you never want to be buying stocks to someone else. I can tell you that. I mean, yeah, I'm in the newsletter business, and I, it, it's tough, okay? But the bottom line is that uh, family, yeah, I think you should stay away from that. But hey, let's do Twitter, because my, my take, Twitter's a buy also. And what's really cool about this, so when you take a look at Twitter, Twitter's trading $38.00. And 35 cents. The low fee is 31, the high 73. The bottom line, we take a look at this. What you're going to see is that you have the first leg that's up. I'm going to put this on a weekly because it's a little bit clearer on the weekly. That bottom line, when you get wide price spread, accelerated volume, which we got last week, that broke the downtrend. And it's a heck of a downtrend that it broke. I mean, when you take a look at this, you would just br you would bring this the most conservative way is that you bring it from. 68 bucks. So it just depends on how long you want to hold it. You know, the, fir the first move on this should bring this up to somewhere about 43, and right now you're at 38. The, uh, the pot stocks are on the move. I mean, if you've been waiting for pot stocks, folks, don't wait too much longer. Um, these babies, you just had canopy growth. That just finished an ABC structure on the way up. You know, it's off the lows of uh, 562. You're running out here at uh, 854. If we take a look at this and you put this on a weekly basis, the bottom line, you're going to see the same type of setup. You know, I suspect we'll see how this shakes out, but it looks like to me Canopy is going to run to 1143, and that they're all running. And it would make sense, too, because guess what? They've totally got smoke. You stay right there, folks. So we have the Dow Industrials right now trading uh, up 52. NASDAQ is down 64. s and is up 9.5. Coming back with my man, Mr. Best would be Hewley. We're going to be talking real estate, baby. Stay right there. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
the TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, up 31. Nasdaq's down 76. S&Ps are up 6. We got our man, Mr. Bestford Buhuli, with me. Bestford is the broker for Tiger Real Estate. We are partners in the business. And you know what we're going to do today, folks, okay? We've, we go through so much stuff. Like, in it, what we're going to do today is we're going to go through a closing statement. I'm going to start doing some of these segments. Because what Bestford and I have found out is that it's really intriguing that people spend so much money on the purchase of their house or a duplex or anything and they they absolutely do not know how to read a closing statement and including how many brokers don't know how to read a closing statement yeah, okay yeah, that's pretty crazy so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna walk through this because what we've seen many times is that huge mistakes and the bottom line, if you don't know the mistake is there, guess what? You just paid up and, you know, that title agent's not going to come back to you and say, oh, I made a mistake, man. You just, you know, yeah. came up with another 600 or 500 or whatever dollars, okay? So what we have up on the screen right now is that we have a, a, a sale of a property at 430 grand, right? And so when people are buying properties, normally, you know, the next line down there is uh, the, basically the escrow deposit. Normally that's like 5%, right? Yeah, usually it goes one to 2%, but sometimes people want to put more so they can uh, secure the property. Oh, so, that's good to know. So yeah, so these guys, they put a lot more, 20 grants. Right, and, and in this market, that would make sense, right? Yeah, in this market, yeah. You in this market. You to do that, because right. uh, it's pretty tough to get anything under contract. Period. So, yeah, right. yeah, so the more you put up, the better. Right. Yeah. So. In this particular case, folks, these pe these folks are going to get a loan. This is a real deal. We took out we took out the people, we took out the law firms, and all this. Okay, um, in this case, that they're, they're going to borrow three hundred and forty-four thousand, right? Yeah, they're putting twenty percent down. So yeah. they're going to borrow three hundred and forty-four thousand. Yeah. Right now, the next one that's on here, folks, is really cool. Okay, it's it's really important to understand this because it's seventeen hundred and eleven dollars and ninety-nine cents, and it says lender credit. So talk to me about what lender credit means. So lender credit, so what this could be is um, when you're buying a property up right. front, you gotta pay some uh, some costs because they don't yes. know if you're gonna close or not. So in most cases, the appraisal fee. Right. So the appraisal fee is $650. So yeah. the, the buyer paid that up front and then you know the, the lender is gonna credit them back. But in this case, they're crediting them back $1,711. Right. So that looks like the 650, Plus, they're going to credit them, uh, you and, know. And that could have to do with, right? Now, now what happens is this, folks. When you call the, the, the mortgage broker, what will end up happening is that they can say to you, do you want to buy down the 
interest rate structure. Yes. Okay. And if they do that, that that's where you're going to get this. Okay. So there's two different things you want to get your head wrapped around on this, right? All of us, including me, including Bassett, including most everyone, when you're get when you're getting like a 30 year loan, you really you're not paying as much attention. You say, okay, just put it in there, I, you know, for right now. Yeah. I suggest, folks, that you do the numbers, okay? Yeah, always look at the numbers. You, you got to do the you numbers. Just never know. Because a half a percent or a quarter percent, you're getting a thousand or two thousand dollars back on the closing costs because the closing costs are always expensive. You can make that choice, but I would suggest that you do the number. Yeah. Because the the average the average time that you're going to live in a house, okay? I'm just taking the whole United States. It's approximately seven and a half years, folks. Okay, that's it. So you, you want to be aware of that, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, because if you're going to pay extra, you got to see what the difference is going to be and how long you're going to stay there. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So now we go to the taxes. So what you're going to see next, okay, on those taxes, uh, this is, you know, adjustments, okay? You have on each side of that uh, balance sheet here, we have $1,311.18. That one's interesting, right? You get a credit, you get a debit, okay? So that just... Yes, yeah, so basically... Uh, the, the the seller has lived in their property all the way to October 18th because right. that's when they're closing. So right. up until that time, they're going to prorate the taxes for the year okay. and they're going to debit the seller yeah. and uh, credit the buyer. I get it. Because the buyer is going to pay to all go the way to the year. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, cool. So sometimes you have to watch out if it's uh, at the end of the year and if you already paid your taxes. Right. Then you should get credit back as a seller. For sure. Yeah, so. And particularly, folks, what ends up happening sometimes is that you've just, you've just sent the bill in, and the bottom line is that, the, you know, no one knows that you just sent the bill in, and, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah you always got to check for that. So now, here, these, uh, th and this is what we're going to do is this. We're going to go through one of this finance. We're going to go, one, go through one of this cash, folks, because what happens is that the finance one, you're going to see the amount of expenses Go astronomical, and I do understand. Almost all of us have to finance yeah. our purchases, no doubt. So, you get loan charges. You get a processing fee of four ninety five. You get an underwriting fee of nine ninety five. You get appraisal fee of six fifty. Yep. You get a credit report of seventy five bucks. You get a flood certification from CoreLogic of nine dollars fifty cents. You get a tax servicing fee of eighty dollars, and then you get prepaid interest of four twenty five. Yeah, <laughs> so these are all just up front. Yeah. Basically, the only thing is the prepaid interest that's going towards your uh, your payment. Everything else is just fees. Right, yeah. right. So. Now, the next one, folks, gets really intriguing. And this is what the next one is, right? You're going to see on this sheet that if we have hazard insurance of 2547, then you have, uh, you know, the property taxes, tax collector 1787. But then you see the next one that says homeowners three months at... Two hundred and twelve dollars, which is six thirty-six. Tell the folks what's happening there. So basically, when you're buying a new property, uh, the lender is going to require that you get insurance. Right. So they're going to make you pay up front for the whole year, which is the uh, twenty-five hundred forty-seven here. Yeah. Then on top of that, they're going to charge you for three months worth of insurance. Exactly. So that um, you know it goes from there on. Right. Yeah. So there's one, folks, that when you're scratching your head when you look at these. What you're actually doing is that you're paying 15 months up front. And what does happen is this. Those numbers can change depending on who your lender is. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's important to understand also, okay? Because when I, when I actually saw this, this is the transaction we did. When I saw this, I'm saying to myself, man, they're getting greedy. Yeah. I mean, seriously, man, 16 months up front, you yeah, know? Yeah, some lenders require like half a year up front. Right. But some. And, and this is what I suggest. This is what I think happened here, right? You see how we got the, the, the credit? You got the credit, lender credit? Yeah. Okay, they got the lender credit. What happens? So picture, put your side on the other side of the bank. What ends up happening there is that, okay, they say, okay, we get the lender credit. We, we get a little bit more, right? Yeah. So if you get a little bit more, it's like how I started the conversation off. No one pays attention to these. No. Because it's inside of the loan also, folks, okay? But trust me, you want to pay attention to them because these fees add up beyond belief, okay? Yeah, we And, seen and some of them are negotiated. I mean, you know, yeah. this, you know, you can negotiate that thing out. Oh yeah, especially these fees, you know, you can negotiate those. I mean, yeah. we, we know we can negotiate a lot of things in real estate, so. Oh, uh, let me tell you something. He did a deal, when, when was that house? When did you saved the guy 57,000? Oh eight yeah. Eight or nine months ago uh, now, right? Yeah, last it? October. Right. Yeah. So he did a deal, folks, okay? And even in this hot market, 
that what ended up happening is that when you got the inspection, tell me what happened. So we, we did a deal. We went on a contract. You know, there was some things yeah. wrong with the house. So what we were able to do is um, get the buyer 3% closing cost credit. Yeah. Which was around 11000 Right. On top of that, we got um, uh, $40,000 worth of uh, credit back for repairs. Right. So it was around, you know, $51,000, dollars back. back. is unbelievable in this market. In this market, yeah. yeah. It's, it's insane. Yeah. You stay right there. Best and I are going to be right back, folks. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 24. We get the NASDAQ off 116. S&Ps are off, too. They get a little sell in here. Bottom line, we'll see where this shakes out. We're talking with our man, Mr. Bessa Bihuli. We are talking real estate. Let's go. to We got Jose. Jose, what's going on, brother? Hey there, Tom. I hate calling twice in one week, but I've been waiting for this guy to show up on your show. I like it. A, I've got a question. Bartholomew? Is that his name? I forget. Bestford. Bestford, yeah. Okay, close enough. That's what I said. Hey, um, I got a question. Palmetto Park, does that ring a bell? That's my playground. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, that's why I'm calling. Now, Tom, why not Vinoy Park? Why not Boca, Sierra, whatever they call it, uh, nicer places? I mean, I'm looking at some, some statistics at Palmetto Park, 
not that great. I know medium sized homes, two hundred thousand. Not probably not a great nightlife there. Crime may be there. Is that? It, it, it's I think I think you're looking at the wrong invest. Palmetto Is Park. Is that where man. our dollars would be investing in in Palmetto Park? Yeah, you're looking at the wrong Palmetto Park. Right, so Pal Palmetto Park is a section of downtown St. Pete. When I came into to Palmetto Park, there was 225 houses. I bought like 50 of them, knocked them down, and now the houses are going for 970,000 bucks a piece. <laughs> oh, so you're you looking at the wrong area. Palmetto wow. Park, man. So, yeah. Maybe, it, maybe. It's St. It's Pete. It, it's just a neighborhood inside of St. Pete. That's what's going on, so. Okay, so here's my question. Um, what kind of risk, you're saying there's risk with anything except treasuries, what kind of risk as an investor uh, doing the 7% yield that you're talking about, one fund is closed, one is open, uh, yeah, what kind of risk? There's always risk when you get more than the treasury, there's no doubt about that, man. Um, yeah, there's, there's always risk, you know, I'm, I'm building in that area, um, and that's what those lots are all about, so, you know, if I went BK, yeah, you know, then the person owns the lot. That's that's the risk. That's the risk. Oh, I see. So but you li you live right here. You just you, you should you should just go down there and go look at what I already did, and it'll blow your mind. It's just blowing but, my mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen pictures of the kitchens in some of these homes. It's yeah. really astounding what you've done with the kitchens. And uh, I, I mean, it's more than just quartz and granite. It, they're really stunning. No, looking. it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It, it, listen, man, like anything else, I've done this a million times. This one really worked well, but we all know that it might have not worked too. So it's, it's yeah. So but I've been I've UK been at, I've been at this for future. over ten years, so it's about yeah. time. Do you know what yeah. I mean? This this wasn't an overnight deal, and I basically developed a neighborhood. That's what I did, and I'm still doing it because I I own all the dirt on First Avenue South, which you know is going to be pretty cool. So yeah. So Tom, any investment, your principal on a scale of one to ten, how safe is it? Ten. Oh boy! All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, man. I'm, I'm still salivating. That's a, have a great one, man. Have a safe one. And there is, see, there is a Palmetto Park, Florida. I don't, well, I don't know what he's looking uh, at. He, I think he's looking at Palmetto, which is uh, oh, right Palmetto. north of uh, Bradenton. Oh, right, I see. Right I south see. of here, okay. about 20 okay. minutes. Okay, so we're yeah. gonna get back. Let's get back to these. Uh, this closing statement because this is when it's going to get really cool now okay so now we're at the title charges in escrow right yes so settlement fee and this particular one on one side they're paying 650 on the other side they're paying 350 what is that yes so basically what happens is a lot of uh, title companies they'll charge you more if you have a uh, mortgage on the property that you're going to take out oh, so it's just more work for them right and, uh, you know they'll charge you more so 350 for the seller side, but uh, 650 for the the buyer, which is an extra $300. Right. Yeah. Now the next one, folks, is really intriguing. Now this one you want to pay attention to big time. This is owner's title insurance, okay? And that is going to cost 2,225 bucks, right? Yes. So, this is what you want to understand. You see how it said owner's title insurance, folks? When you're buying property with cash, unless you tell the title agent that you want owner's title insurance they're not going they're only going to give you title insurance that is not in quotes owner's title insurance or they might just not give you insurance at all because you, well, you can go that route too if you're buying cash no you can yeah. but let's say when i'm always buying cash what happens is this folks this is what ends up happening when I, i'm buying cash okay so what ends up happening is at the beginning like three or four years ago i didn't know the difference and this is what the difference is it doesn't cost any more money, but the difference is when you buy it, if you explicitly say that I want owner's title insurance, when you go to mortgage that, okay, the bottom line is that your title insurance is very minimal. Yeah. If you don't have owner's title insurance, even though it's the same thing, the bottom line, you get hammered. Yeah, you got to okay, pay so, for it. Okay, so you, you always want owner's title insurance. Now, when you're getting it from the bank, that's what you're going to get. But if you're buying with something with cash, make sure you get owner's title insurance. Yes, always. Yeah, yeah it's, you it's huge. You always want to protect yourself because you just never know. Right. Well, and it's so less expensive. Yeah. Like, like if I if I did this one and I had owner's title insurance, then I, you know, when he was talking about mortgages, then I get a first mortgage on it. That first is only going to cost me like six hundred dollars instead of twenty two hundred. Yeah. 
Yeah. They, it's that dramatic. That that's how that works. Yeah, pretty pretty uh, cool. Yeah. Okay, so now, now, now let's see why everyone wants to be a title agent, folks, okay? Yeah. <laughs> because the whole world wants to be a title agent, but you can see why when you're kind of looking at this breakdown. So next we have uh, Lenders Title Insurance to Old Republic. <laughs> so, yeah, so this Lenders Title Insurance is only protecting the lender. Oh, in interesting. There's something that goes wrong with the, with the title. So you have the owner's title insurance, which protects everybody, including the, the yeah. buyer. But then the lenders is on top of that. They get away with murder, man. Just for the lenders. They get away. Yeah. Okay, so then on top of that, lenders title endorsement, right? Yeah, that just if you want, they want to add extra stuff to the, to the title, you know, to protect themselves. Okay. You know what like, I mean? like what? Like the zoning is the zoning uh, where, where it is. Interesting. Um, I didn't know you could do that. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah, so there, there's all kinds of things you can add to it. Okay. You know, insurance will sell you anything. No, I do for sure, man. <laughs> then you get the dark fee. That's that's normal. Hundred bucks. Title search on the other side. Hundred bucks. Um, lean search fee. Now this is important, folks. Lean search fee. Let's talk about leans. Leans. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you definitely want to get a, uh, if you're buying cash. Right. Because if you're buying with a uh, with a loan, they're, they're always going to require it, you to do that. Right. So you definitely want to check out the liens, make sure there's no right. liens on the property, and you want to check out the title, make sure you get it, because we've seen it before. With we, have somebody. Seen, we have seen horror shows, folks. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, 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 and in this particular case, it shouldn't have been, been a, high, a horror show, because the guy we know is horror show is friends of ours. <laughs> And he just didn't, that's like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Yeah, to yeah. do a lien search, bought the property, and then after he bought it, he did the lien search after, yeah. and found out there was uh, a lot of liens on the property. Do the lien search before the fact, folks, okay? It, yeah. Because what does happen also, in many cities, if you are the person that did not get the lien, there's programs that are in place that you can get the liens reduced by dramatically. And when I say by dramatically, most of the time what ends up happening is this. Let's say that you had a lien on a property, what, four or five years ago, let's say 10 years ago, you bought the property and the liens are like $36,000. In the city of St. Pete, as long as I didn't get the liens, I bought plenty of properties like that, the bottom line, you can wipe the liens out for a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because th that, so that's important to understand. There's programs that are in place. You get a little bureaucracy, but it's well worth it. Stay right there. Best and I are coming right back. Market wise out here, what we have, we have the Dow Industrials flat. You get the NASDAQ off 104. S&Ps are up uh, one. Come right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials up 30. Nasdaq's down 93. S&P's are up 5.5. Let's go to Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Andy, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. Thanks for having me on, and uh, thanks for having this topic with Bestford on. That's pretty uh, very educational and informative, for sure. We appreciate you listening, man. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Hey, um, I'm kind of on the other side of this, uh, fortunately, I guess. Um, I have a few properties, and I have a couple of them paid off already. Yeah. Um, and my original topic or, or what I wanted to talk about was the title insurance. But my, in general, um, what should I be doing at this point to protect myself after, uh, with those properties being paid off? Regarding just, title, just, I would just. Well, I, did, did yeah. you originally have title insurance? Yes, I did. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you don't you don't have to worry about anything now. All right. <laughs> okay. Great. Because <laughs> this is what ends up happening. No, it's a great question. So what ends up happening is, folks. Okay. Because he had title insurance at the beginning, right? There's not going to be a change in the chain. Yeah, it's, because it's, he still owns it. The chain is really important, folks, for ownership. Okay, what would happen, Andy? If you didn't get it right, and then all of a sudden you have a five or ten years, then you're going to sell it. Then it'd, it'd still be fine, but it's a lot more research because the chain is broken. That's what ends up happening. Okay. You know, so you're in great shape, man. I mean, yeah, it's you know, and. You know, as to, you know, going forward, I would say that, uh, well, you know how this goes, man. If they're cash flow and you're in great shape, man, and I'm sure they are, you know, so. Oh, yeah, they are, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I just thought I might have heard horror stories about people coming in and, and kind of claiming titles and, and doing crazy stuff like that. Okay, um, so, so, you know, we hear those ads, okay, yeah. <laughs> and... You know, the, the bottom line is that I'm not quite sure how that whole racket works, uh, but you don't have to worry about it, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you, if you got it originally, the title insurance, yeah. and if anything pops up, that's where you get it. Uh, you know, you go back to the insurer and they'll right. take care of you. Right, and, and realistically, when they're saying that they're stealing deeds, you know, uh, I, I just, I'm not qualified to, you know, basically say how that happens, but... You know, my my take on that that whole freaking thing is a scam. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because if you have title insurance, it's like okay, we, when you're talking about fraud at at the Pinellas County or any county level, I mean, someone's gonna go to jail. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So yeah, as long as you had it in the beginning, you should be good to go. Yeah, big time. Great. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks guys. Thanks best for it. Appreciate it, Tom. Have a great weekend. Okay, Thank man. You. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks. Okay, so let's, we're, we're at, oh, I know. So you got to get the liens, that's for sure. Now, the next one, the survey, that's really important, right? Yeah, the survey. So, you know, when you're buying with the loan, same thing, they're going to require you get a survey because right. they want to protect the property. But if you're buying cash, we suggest that you get a survey right. all the time. Because right. you never know if there's encroachments, you know, easements on the property, that's which right. we've seen. That's right. And then you go back, try to build something on it, or, you know, try to sell it, it's going to be a problem. That's right. Now, I'll give you an idea, folks, just how important this is. So when you're building a new house, what ends up happening is this. If most of them that I'm building, it all has city, water, sewer, all of that. Well, all of them do. But a few of them, they were just all vacant lots. So what ends up happening, there actually wasn't a house on this thing for probably 30 or 40 years, right? Yeah. So what happens there is this. I have to bring electric coming out of the pole, 
Okay, so when you do that, two different things end up happening. That the owner, in this case the builder, has to sign an easement, you yeah. know? And it's like three or four pages long, okay? Yeah. Now that one's not bad, folks, okay? So what happens with that is this, is that I'm signing an easement on the property that they can bring the wire across so that we can, we can set up the box yeah. on, the, on the house. That one's fine. Let me tell you one that's not fine, and you know where this is on one of my properties, okay? So I actually sold this, I mean, I, I did sell it, okay? But check it out. This is what ended up happening on a, on a different property. When they were coming in and putting a whole bunch of, we have natural gas here too. So they were doing one street over and they were doing natural gas. And what ended up happening is that the natural gas people, they were trying to reach another house and they got lazy. Yeah. So what they did, it, it looked like the house, it looked like the lot that I own in the house were on one property and they weren't, okay? They're two separate. So what do they do? They go right across the property, okay? Put natural gas in, you can imagine that's a mess. I get down there and say, man, what are you doing, man? Like, this is, okay, so the, the bottom line is that they didn't have the right to do it. They got to get rid of it. That's the bottom line. But you want to be aware of that because what could happen is that you could have one, something that's on there and you think that they had the right to put it on there and they don't. Yeah. And if you got the survey, the survey would ex would be right there that, hey man, I don't have natural gas coming across my property. Yeah. Because most of the time folks is gonna come in from the front. Okay, you don't, you, don't want the, you don't want them coming in from the side, coming in from the back, you know, and this one here, they were coming in from the side, they, would, they were just lazy. Yeah, that's the real yeah, bottom line. Yeah. But that's something that, that's why the survey is so important because it'll show you, you know, what, you know. Yeah. And most, most of the variances that are on there have to do with electric but we happen to know also when they we know a guy that just so check this out didn't get the survey into us too late but uh made six condominiums condom, yeah, yeah six condominiums what ended up happening is this this is because we're downtown so these buildings are right next to each other so what happened is that 20 years ago the guy that picture this i'm building here i wasn't building this is another builder friend of mine basically he is he's building here there's a house right next to it, and what had happened is that the house next to it had got an easement of two feet by ten feet coming into his property. He didn't know it until he only has about a million and a half into it, right? Yeah. And then the guy thought he was going to squeeze him, so the guy was charging some outrageous amount. And guess what? The, the builder was smarter than the guy. Yeah. He, all he did is turned around and says, okay, that's fine. You know, On the second floor, there's a little niche, but... It turned. It cost them another forty or fifty grand. Yeah, you know, yeah, which is big, a bummer. Big, uh, big costs. Big and cost. you know, once you get a survey and you get title insurance, that will protect you. Even yes. If something after it, exactly pops up. Exactly. So it's always good. So then next, well, next, next is your commission, man. <laughs> this is the commission. <laughs> that's yeah. the, that's, so you, you have two sides of the commission, and you know, in this market, folks. Okay, the bottom line is that you shouldn't. How much should be people be paying, real, realistically? Commission, uh, it just depends, but yeah, uh, probably, you know, four and a half to five percent. Right, total. and that's it. Yeah. Now, you know, I don't, you know, depending where you are, this market is so hot, folks, okay? You know, like, I pay two and a half percent off the other side always, right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And Because what does happen is this, is that there's plenty of brokers that have a lot of clients. If you don't pay anything, you know, the bottom line, even in a hot market, and you want to do a lot of deals. Yeah. So, you know, there's no, you know, two and a half percent's a good little deal. Yeah, great deal. Yeah. Okay, then we have the we have the recording fees, right? Recording fees, yeah. And then we got... Yeah, mortgage tax, state of Florida. That's why Florida's so rich. Yep. <laughs> mortgage intangible tax, state of Florida. Yep. And then then the, the, the deed, the deed. The deed tax, yeah. That's for, big money, man. For the seller side, so... Right. You got that for... So... For three thousand dollars. Yeah, three thousand. That's a, that's three thousand ten. So if you're not if you're not taking a mortgage out, you know the 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 buyer will not be paying any of these uh, fees. Right. On this side. Which is really cool. Man. So that's why the closing costs go really high when you're uh, when you're buying with a uh, right. mortgage. And yeah. you know what you have to do. Uh, Stay right there, folks. Best friend and I are coming right back. We have the Dow. They want, they want to run this market, man. This, this bull, you can't stop this bull. Dow's up 59. NASDAQ is down 58. S&P's up 12 and a half. Best friend and I are coming right back, folks. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials are up 90. NASDAQ is uh, down 45. S&P is up 15 and a half. Bottom line, you get a market that wants higher price. We're coming into next week. You're going to come into window dressing. And, folks, as you come over to TFNN, now, this is really cool, man. Uh, man many of us have been following us for years, okay? As you come over to TFNN, go into services. And it's the services you're going to see Tiger's Den, a trading room. Well, we just opened... Um, a state-of-the-art room that is phenomenal, okay? We're using Discord to do it. Uh, we got a lot of tigers and tigresses in there right now. So, you know, basically it looks like about 100 right now. Um, this Tiger's Den, folks, okay, for the whole year, okay, is only a dollar. The bottom line, we're looking to, you know, get a lot of traders in here. Uh, so you go to services, you go to uh, the Tiger's Den, and you're going to see your subscribe right there, and you're going to be in here Growling and prowl with all the tigers and tigresses uh, for a buck for the year. And the only reason we're charging a buck, folks, is that we just don't want the 8,000 spams coming into the room. Okay, that's, that's yeah. the bottom line. So check it out over the weekend at TFNN. Um, I think you're really going to enjoy it. We go back to this. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Just the end of this. And who? This is pretty wild. Is that? Nope, not that one. That's us. Not that one. What the heck did I do with it? It's down there. Where, oh, thank you. See that? This one? Next one. Next one. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. All the way to the okay. So now we are at the the closing prices, right? <clears throat> oh, I know. Okay. So you, you got to pay off the old old loan, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you have the old loan. Yeah. That's one fifty-seven, nine seventy. 
And then when you look at, you know, the debit, the credit, the bottom line, you're going to find out on your side what you're going to get after that. The bottom line due to the seller is 243000 And, uh, of course, the borrower is going to come up with... Uh, 74000 74000 Yeah, uh, just yeah. like that. Pretty wild, man. Yeah. Well, listen, Bester, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah, this um, is great. Folks, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. And always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The boo can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit us Monday morning. Tommy kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show. Look at him, folks.